ClickUp can be a great tool for any number of project management, task management, personal to-do list management stuff. But when you want to view some archive tasks, sometimes if you're not sure how to do this, it can be a little bit confusing. Maybe you did it by accident or something was archived and now it's become relevant again. Whatever that is, I want to show you today how you can find your archive tasks. You can bring them back, use them, quickly find them, all that. So let's just jump into it. Okay, so here we are in ClickUp, and let's say that you want to check out your archive tasks, whatever for whatever reason that might be. Um, it's not obvious a lot of times about how you want to do this. We are just in here in a space with a test folder I created um, that I use for videos like this. And what we wanna do, the easiest way, there's a lot of ways to get to search, um, but I prefer just to use the hotkey, which is S. And if I click on that, we bring up, here is our search uh, command. Now you can ignore all of this. This is just gonna start bringing up things that it thinks you may want to see. A lot of it is your recent activity. And you can see we have a lot of options for things here to kind of filter through. Okay, we can ignore all of this and come over here to this last one, the little filter tab or filter icon. It kind of reminds me of a data filter in uh, Google Sheets or Excel. And when we click on that, boom, there we go. We have got archived. And when we click on that, now we are filtering it to just archive. So we're only looking at archive tasks. And I only have two in here, but we could see if there's more. Um, I'm gonna type in archived, and there we go. Uh, it's an archive task. I created an archived, and it pops up right there. So easy to do uh, if you ever need to find your archive task. Remember, again, press S or go to your search. Um, however you wanna do that, by clicking up here, come over to your filter, click on archive, run your search command, and go from there. If you have any questions, comments about how to do this or any issues you had, let me know, leave a comment, and I'll get back to you.